Hello students, I welcome you once again to the e-learning sessions of Automobile Engineering. Myself Hardik Shah and during this lecture series, we will discuss some interesting topics in the subject of automotive electricals and electronics, right? We have already started a new chapter of batteries and starting system and our today's topic in this video is components of starting system, okay? I hope you will see this video till the end to completely understand this topic and gain your skills in automobile engineering. Then I also request you to note down queries during the lecture, okay, and ask it in comment section which is below, okay. I will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible. So now let's start our today's video. In last session, we have discussed the basics of starting system. As we know, so many electrical components are used in this system. Okay, so let's discuss all the major components in detail for the starting system. First is battery. So the automotive battery is also known as the lead acid storage battery is an electrochemical device that produces voltage and delivers the current. In an automotive uh, battery, we can reverse the electrochemical action thereby recharging the battery which will then give us many years of service life, okay? The purpose of the battery is to supply the current to the starter motor, provide a current to the ignition system while cranking, thereafter to supply the additional current when the demand is higher than the alternator can supply, okay? And to act as an electrical reservoir and electrical source. So this was the basic about battery. We have already discussed battery in very detail in previous sessions. Okay. Next is ignition switch. So what is that? It allows to driver to distribute the electrical current to where it is needed. So there are generally five key switch position for ignition switch. First is lock. So all the circuits are open and the steering wheel is in lock position. In some cars, the transmission lever cannot be moved in a position, in this position. So if the steering wheel is applying the pressure to the locking mechanism, the key might be very hard to turn. So if you do experience this type of condition, try moving the steering wheel to remove the pressure as you can turn the key. Okay. Second is off. It is off position. So all the circuits are open, but the steering wheel can be turned and the key cannot be extracted. So it is actually fixed inside it. Thereafter run or you can say on. So all the circuits except the starter circuit are closed. Okay. So current is supplied to all, but it does not supply to starter circuit. So electric connections are on, but starter is not working. Thereafter start. So the power is supplied to the ignition circuit and starter motor only. So this is why the radio stops playing in the starter position. This position of the ignition switch is spring loaded so that the starter is not engaged while the engine is running. It will come back. Okay. So this position is used momentarily just to activate the starter. It will disconnect all other system and it will start the engine. Thereafter accessory, so power is supplied to all but the ignition switch and uh, but the uh, starter circuit. Okay, so this allows you to play the radio work or the power windows etc. while the engine is not running condition. Okay, so this was the accessory switch. So most ignition switches are mounted on a steering column. Some switches are actually have the two separate parts, the lock into which you can insert the key. This component also contains the mechanism to lock the steering wheel and the shifter and the switch which contains an actual electrical circuits. So it is usually mounted on the top of the steering column just behind the dashboard. Okay. And it is connected to the lock by the linkage or you can say rod. Okay. So this was all about the ignition switch. Next is neutral safety switch. So what is that? So neutral safety switch, you can say that this switch opens you can say denies the current, the starter circuit when the transmission is in any gear, but neutral and park on the automatic transmissions. Okay. So this switch is normally connected to the transmission linkages or you can say gear 
or directly on the transmissions okay most cars utilize the same switch to apply the current to the backup lights when the transmission is put in a reverse okay so standard transmission cars will connect this switch to the clutch pedal so that the starter will not engage unless you put the clutch pedal or you can say or uh, you, you push the clutch pedal or it is depressed okay if you find that you have to move the shifter away from the park or neutral to get the car start it usually means that this switch needs adjustment so if your car has an automatic parking brake release the neutral safety switch will control that function also so this was the neutral safety switch next is starter relay what is that so a relay is a device that allows a small amount of electrical current to control the large amount of current okay an automobile starter uses a large amount of current approximate 250 plus amperes okay to start the engine now if we were to allow that much current to go through the ignition switch we would not only need to vary large switches but all the wires would have to be that size of battery cables okay and it is not practical to make all the wire very thick okay so a starter relay is installed in a series between the battery and the starter motor some cars uses a starter solenoid to accomplish the same purpose of allowing a small amount of current from the ignition switch to control a high current flow from the battery to the starter motor okay the starter solenoid in some cases also mechanically engages the starter gear with the engine also okay next is battery cables so battery cables are large having the large diameter they are multi-stranded wire which carries high current approximate 250 plus amperes necessary to operate the starter motor okay some have a smaller wire which is soldered to the terminal which is used to either operate a smaller devices or to provide additional ground current okay so when the smaller cable burns this indicates a high resistance in a heavy cable okay care must be taken to keep the battery cable ends clean and very tight okay battery cables can be replaced with ones that are slightly larger but don't replace it with a smaller wire otherwise it will burn okay last is starter motor so what is that so starter motor is actually main component to start the engine it is a powerful electric motor with a small gear you can say pinion attached to its end okay when activated the gear is mashed with a large gear ring which is attached to the engine you can say flywheel also okay the starter motor then spins the engine over so that the piston can draw the fuel air mixture inside it which is then start the ignition of the engine so when the engine starts to spin faster than the starter a device called an overrunning clutch you can say bendix drive okay we will learn it in previous uh, some of the next session it will automatically disengage the starter gear from the engine and it is the main working so we will discuss all the main working of the starter motor in upcoming videos fine so that was the main components which are actually used in a starting systems done each of the components has its own working as we have discussed okay and all the components are very much uh, important for operating these starting systems fine which are the components ignition switch thereafter neutral switch thereafter starting relay thereafter starter motor and the main component is battery and battery cables okay so these are the main components which are used for the starter motor okay in the next session we will discuss about the working of starter motor and thereafter we will discuss more about the starting systems okay so that's it in today's session if you have any query you can write it in comment section i will try to solve as soon as possible so that's it thanks for watching my video keep learning goodbye